Apple products are known for being pricey, and the same goes for Apple Watch, which starts at $400 and goes all the way up to $1,500 with the Hermes model. But you may have noticed one Apple Watch in particular that carries a suspiciously low price tag, the SE. It looks almost identical to the more expensive models, but costs just $280. So why is the SE so cheap? Well, it boils down to Apple using older, cheaper components while avoiding newer, more expensive ones. For example, the entire design of the SE, similar to the iPhone SE, is a repackaging of an earlier model. The chassis debuted with the Series 4 in 2018, while the SE was introduced two years later with the same design. That meant Apple could use the same parts, assembly line, and wouldn't have to invest in any research and development, since all those costs were already covered while developing the Series 4. Instead, Apple could enjoy the depreciating cost of older components paired with economies of scale. That way, the cost of producing one Apple Watch SE is significantly less in 2018 with the Series 4, allowing Apple to reduce the price for customers. But there's another cost-saving method to consider, the sensors. Apple Watch has accumulated an array of sensors over the years to help users monitor their health. Initially, there was just a heart rate monitor, but later an electrical heart sensor was added to the Series 4 to take ECGs, then a blood oxygen reader was added to the Series 6. These sensors weren't cheap, and made up about 12% of the entire product's manufacturing costs. So to keep the SE as affordable and profitable as possible, Apple only includes the initial heart rate monitor, leaving out the ECG and blood oxygen sensors. With all those cost-saving factors combined, Apple is able to price the SE at just $280, which I think gets you the most value for your money out of all the Apple Watch models. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.